Yeah. Two ladies, this is a true story. This two ladies at a network meeting right. came over to me and uh, he said, no, your show was really good, but we missed dimples. Good evening, everybody. I just got the finger from Jim. It's all part of the story. Right. Hey, everybody. It's Darren from the Business Power Hour. I'm not, I'm not going to be in the studio tonight. I'm traveling. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Business Power Hour with Darren and the Music Man, except Darren's not here. I'm here. No, no, I'm right not here. here. Do you, do, does anybody see that? There's, Darren is not here. Darren is away. I, I am right you, here. Right quiet next to you. for a second. You're not here. <laughs> what would you if you got lucky? Not the really interesting question. That's a fantastic I, question, Norman. Wow. So, see, I got a fantastic. fantastic. You just got good. <laughs> I got fantastic. <laughs> Show's about him, so let's focus That's on that. Were you drinking before the show? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> there we go. We got it. Let's go. No, go. it's... Now we got it. <laughs> 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 there we go. Okay. Smother it. So. <laughs> I think it's, 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 it's making noise. It's making music. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> That's so sweet of you, Darren. <laughs> By the way, this is a Yankee uh, station. It's a Yankee Thank station. You. John, Thank it's a Yankee station. All right. Unfortunately... We got bugs in here. Ev, what's going on? I don't know. I Do you know. spray? Get you know an exterminator? It's that time of year where you're getting bugs and stuff. As long as we don't have bees, I'm good. Yeah, all right. That's but uh, We have a lot of undulations out in the, the oh. field. Undulations. Is that a wine? So, <laughs> no, you know, what the hell is undulations? <laughs> Fred, so, Fred, don't use big words. <laughs> 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 hey, right? <laughs> so this <laughs> help. Oh, I, I gotta give him a cough button, Jim. What do you think? A cough because button would be a good idea. Do you consider that a good question that he asked? Great there question. You go. There you go. Pythons and, and brains. I got, I, you're double D. I'm double D. Show's about him, so let's focus That's on that. Hey, give me something. <laughs> give me something. Give me some, give me some loving. <laughs> Not how are you, music hello. man? Hello, Darren. How are you? I'm fantastic. I'm, I'm this absolutely week. convinced. I'm absolutely convinced I'm that you, you got some kind of brain damage when you had that thing last <laughs> I'm, year. I'm telling <laughs> you, <laughs> and he called it. <laughs> not classy, but classic. <laughs> Seeing interviews by Darren and the music man. Ladies and gentlemen, Darren Siafi and Norman Wasserman. Let's do this. Yeah. yeah. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this. I mean, the Wednesday. What is it? Today? Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Today, so today I'm, is I'm, Wednesday. I'm Sunday, Sunday, we did we did the, the oh. event for Pulse. And, so yesterday must and have take been charge. Tuesday. Yeah, yesterday was yesterday Tuesday. Tuesday. Great. So welcome good. to the Wednesday night edition of the Business Power Hour with Darren and the Music Man, and we got a really sweet wait, 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 show wait, wait, wait. It's, tonight. It's St. Patty's Day. Well, can I get to? Oh, you okay. go you ahead. Go. No, no, oh, you no. got you got the no, liquid. Go. To, to, no, I'm just saying it is St. Patty's Day, and right. uh, I apologize for not wearing green. But to be honest, I do not own anything that's green, <laughs> and it all happens to be my one of my favorite colors, and I still don't have it. You know, even my logo on Friend Entertainment is lime green. So, yeah, so what can I go. tell you? There you go. So anyway, we're here. Um, I, I don't. I want to. Oh, first of all, you say hello to everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome okay, that's to the enough. Show. There you go. So Sunday, we had the pleasure of helping our friend Eileen Corina um, do a, um, a presentation of her organization, mm -hmm. Pulse. And it's called Target, right? Take Charge. Take Charge. Take I'm Charge sorry. Initiative. And she is a patient advocate, and she's mm -hmm. nationally known. And we have a mutual friend, Darren and I that is in the state of who's Washington. Also, who's also a very good friend of this show. Definitely so. Mm -hmm. Been on the show a few times. Um, she um, has a ailment mm -hmm. that she Crohn's, which she has trouble with. Uh, she's had for 20 years. She lives in Washington and they can't help her. No matter where she goes and what she does, she has a really tough time. Um, I got an email message after the show and we hooked them up with Eileen Corina, and she came through again. Yeah, she thank you, came. Eileen. Good job. All right, Brittany, All we're right. happy. So for Brittany, you. we're, we're happy for you. We're, we're praying, praying dedicating this show to you for tonight. Yes, tonight's show is in, in dedicated to Eileen. And uh, if you're uh, watching, Brittany. if by chance you're watching, send us a message or call us at six three one 
six one nine seven five hundred and uh we'll have you talk and say hello to everybody right exactly so right. we we have somebody special here tonight and and this somebody special well, it's, it's, is it's, somebody that you know well the thing is so you take it you, from here you, you didn't even you didn't even comment on my outfit oh tonight. you're gonna do that now <laughs> <laughs> so everybody knows right i'm a i'm a i'm a big burger guy but tonight's guest wrote a book and he wrote a cookbook all right and it's not me and everybody knows that I've written a book, but it's actually a, a distant relative of mine. Look at the size of this, this thing. Is, this is a big book, right? Look how so it's thick a, it is. It's a cookbook. Now, I was going to get, you know, I mentioned it on previous shows. I was going to get somebody to actually make a dish out of there. I thought that. Uh, no, Michelle was not. She's not going to do it. Right. Oh, okay. So, you know, she wanted to. I thought your guest was going to do it from where well, he is. Well, no, no. So what, what we did was. Okay. Because the book professes that it's easy to make you know, this type of stuff at home. So I said, you know what? Let me give it a shot. So here are the results. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. You know what? In honor, you know, of, our in guest, honor of our guest today, today I, want I want to show everybody, everybody how easy it is for us to actually make some of their recipes. Now, now knowing, knowing my, my love, love for burgers, Bob's burgers is, is not my favorite, favorite cookbook. cookbook. It's, it's not, not. No. no. My, my favorite cookbook is this Canadian Niner cookbook. And, and I'm, I'm actually, actually going to make a recipe eat myself. myself. I'm going to get somebody else to do it. it. And then I realized, what sense is that? What we're going to do today is we're going to make a recipe right out of this book. Now, a lot of people are thinking, hey, you know what? Let's make something with corn because there's a lot of things with corn in here. I'm just kidding, Mike. Uh, but today, I'm going to make the chocolate chunk cookies because I love chocolate chip cookies. One of the things that I was able to do was very easily put together the ingredients. The book laid out everything for me, okay? And I, I went to the store, I got everything that I needed, and here we are, we're all set up. And I'm in my kitchen, as you see, I'm in my chef coach, so I'm gonna get all of this stuff done. See, look, right? I'm all, I'm all, I got my sleeves rolled up, I'm doing the whole chef thing, I got my temperature thing. Not that I'm gonna need it for cookies, but, you know, I'm excited to get this thing done. So here's our ingredients. Okay, it was as simple as this. Uh, you know, I put it all together. We got our brown sugar. We got our all-purpose flour. We got, you know, it's the, the recipe calls for eight ounces of dark chocolate, but I got ten ounces. So you know, I like I like chocolate. I don't think it's going to really hurt it too much. You know, our baking soda and our butter. Now the yellower butter, that's that's European butter. It's a little fatty. It's supposed to make cookies that much better. But two sticks of butter. You know, I'm going to go buy what the recipe says. So just follow along. We're going to make these things, and then we're going to try them out. We're going to see how good it is. Hey, look, I'm, I'm all set with my kitchen-made uh, uh, mixer. So here we go. Okay, so why the, the uh, dough is actually in the fridge cooling, uh, you know, preheat, I'm preheating the oven now to 350. I've actually got another baking sheet that I'm going to put in uh, because the, the baking sheets that I have are probably not going to accommodate the size of these cookies. These are going to be massive cookies. They're going to be awesome. Uh, you know, so look, you can get this book, the Phoenician Diner Cookbook on Amazon, all right? You can get it right off the Phoenician Diner uh, website. Okay, or just contact us and we'll get you in touch with Mike, the author, uh, and we'll get you a book. So, you know, this is a great book. It's got a lot of great recipes in it. And you know what? It was real easy for me, a non-cook, a non-baker, to actually make these cookies. So you're going to see the results in a little while, uh, you know, as to, as to what we did. But you're going to see the results and the results are phenomenal for somebody who has no real experience in doing this stuff.
All right, this is batch number two. Look at these cookies. They are massive. Look at my hand compared to the cookies. They are massive. So, I did it. I made colossal chocolate chip cookies. These things are awesome. So, look, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So, so go, go out and get, get the Phoenician Diner cookbook today. You get it on Amazon. You get it through the Phoenician Diner website. All right. All right. And, and uh, uh, I mean, these, these things, things are absolutely fantastic. fantastic. Mm. Oh, oh, God. God. Awesome. awesome. Well, good night, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. The show is over. So what do you over. think? Should I, should I start my own cooking channel? I mean, I, I thought that was... Okay, why don't you really well, show, here's the show thing. them right. right? So here's the result. I'm going to give you one, too. Here, here's the cookies, right? Tell, tell me, are they good? Yeah. Well, they're really good, right? But I had one already. I know. You had one on Sunday. Oh, right after I cooked them. So these were good. Look at the size. Look at the size of this thing compared to my head. Yeah, really. It's awesome. Darren is it's also awesome. selling these things pre. He's going to wrap them. <laughs> right. They're three ninety nine a cookie. Three ninety nine minimum awesome. of ten. <laughs> so let's welcome. Now, he's he spells his last name the same as mine, but he doesn't say it the same. So let's welcome Mike Siafi on on the show. Hey, Mike, how you doing tonight? Hey, Mike, welcome, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. <laughs> I, I want to thank well, you for thank you for having me. Oh man, it was you're, so easy. You're, you're to welcome. And and before this, I really could only boil water, and that was about it. You guys look alike. <laughs> <laughs> you got I the was same gonna, well, That's my first question. Do we do we have any? Uh, we we shared DNA, obviously, some, yeah. somehow. Although mm -hmm. I think we we've established that that uh, there's a we're 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 on well, uh, different branches of the same tree clearly right. exactly uh, right? exactly and, and just for, just for just make it easy for everybody mike's great grandfather was the brother of my grandfather so right. there you go so we're distant cousins distant very exactly. distant. <laughs> exactly we didn't even know each other till about 10 years ago that right? is correct you know so correct. maybe a little bit more than that Mike, right. tell tell everybody where is your dino loca? You are you local? You're here in the island. Where are you? No, uh, we're in Phoenicia, New York. Uh, Darren, where? Uh, Phoenicia. Where the hell Phoenicia. is that? Exactly. <laughs> it's um, it's in the Catskills, like literally in the heart of the Catskills, um, and um, uh, just just uh, on on a on a main artery that goes through uh, basic cuts right down the middle of the Catskills. So. We like to think of ourselves as kind of a portal, the beginning of uh, of your adventure through the Catskills. Well, and so that, you're on the Italian side of the Catskills. That's that's correct. Right. That, <laughs> that is that correct. In the middle. <laughs> we are not the Borscht Belt. I, I I forget the name. There's a. No, there's you're a it's belt. like oh wait, I know. I think it's the the Italian Riviera. Yeah, I that's it. What, uh, I think how it was referred to. Are you close uh, to Villa Roma? I am actually. <laughs> I can't stop eating these cookies. Well, uh, oh, by the way, if you, if you if you do sell them, I know Norm had suggested it. I we get a ten percent big on that. Oh, absolutely! No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Mike, I have to apologize to you because during the whole video, I was, I was saying Phoenician. I was adding an end to the name. Right. And we all know just by me holding the book up every day, <laughs> it's it's like our last names, right? I say Sayafi, you say yeah, Siafi. Exactly. It's still spelled exactly. the same way. It's still all right? spelled the same Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, how long have you been in the uh, diner restaurant business? So um, not, not long compared to most folks. I got here. We bought the diner uh, about... Uh, 10 years ago about I'm sorry about nine years ago and opened it up about eight years ago uh, so not not very long I, I came from a different uh, business before this um, now but, Mike uh, now yeah. I, I know this and I don't mean to cut you off Mike sure. Mike actually came from a like you a branch of show business right oh really right so right. His, his company before that you know used to make the sets for Broadway plays and nice and, and TV That's shows, correct. things like yeah, that. So, exactly. So I did that for about 25 years. I got a nice college degree in that. I uh, started a company right out of college, and um, um, and it still exists. I sold, I sold it uh, about about 10 years ago, and was looking to kind of 
change up and 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 uh, and explore, you know, I guess a second career at some point, um, and uh, and kind of came at this uh, literally out of nowhere with a lot of warnings from from friends in this business that. You know, it's not for the faint of heart. Um, it's it's a lot of work, which I, I, I uh, the the you know it it, it um, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of dedication, and there's a lot of interaction with 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 guests, which is kind of the opposite um, of what my old business was because it was always you know backstage work. You know, in effect, never out front, never in the spotlight. And um, now so you're this the star really big. Show. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that so much, but I, I do am front facing. So I had to rethink and relearn how to how to be that person uh, that was in the quote unquote, I guess, in the spotlight. And, and as with you know, most of the servers here and everybody who deals with the with the with the guests um, are representative of, of the diner. So uh, they all. Who taught you how to cook? I don't. Um, uh, basically, and but. Um, I like to say it this way, like I, I, I'm a, a good home cook um, uh, and I enjoy home cooking. Uh, but at this scale, um, I could never in a million years contemplate doing it. There's people that do this here much better than I ever could. And I have such a fragile ego that I couldn't possibly <laughs> withstand anyone ever sending something back here. It would crush me. It would crush my ego. So I kind of stay away from that the cooking part and try to be out front and, um, and try to, you know, and be the literally the face, uh, of, of, of the diner. So um, I, want, but, I, want, but have a good I want to talk about the location a little bit. Right? <laughs> so a few years ago, my aunt Angie passed away. Right. And she, she was up in Cooperstown. So we had to go to Cooperstown. So me and, and, you know, we piled in the car and we went upstate and we said, you know what? I'm going to get off at exit 19, take 28 across to Cooperstown and go to back roads and that. And I'm going to stop at the Phoenicia Diner. All right. It was a Saturday. We stopped there. The place is packed, literally packed. Now, they're in the middle of literally nowhere. There's nothing around them. Matter of fact, Mike, I suggest you rent your property so they can put a cell tower up. <laughs> there's absolutely no cell service there at all. So I go in, I ask if Mike's around. They go, oh, he just left a little while ago. So now I'm trying to call and I got no cell service. And I say, you know, I'm related to Mike, I'm Mike's cousin. And they're like, we don't care. You know, so <laughs> we, we, we hung around for a while. And unfortunately, we had to leave because of our, our timing going uh, to, the, to the wake. But as I'm walking out, now, Mike, I've told you the story. As I'm walking out of the diner, a guy stops me and says, hey, you're Mike, the owner of the diner, aren't you? And starts talking <laughs> to me like I own the place. I'm like, no, it's not me. Told you guys look similar. <laughs> no, I, yeah. <laughs> you know? I, I mean, I didn't think we looked that similar, Mike. No. But it was like, I mean, this guy literally started talking to me like I was you. And it was, but I mean, the, the location of this place, and I got a couple of uh, snapshots He's got some outdoor dining, right? That you know you can see when you're sitting outside. Just a yeah, that's the view. that's the view is incredible. Yeah. yeah, it's just an incredible view of the place, and it, it it's set up. And you know, I, like I said, we only really have an, a a nighttime view of it. But the way it's set up is just perfect for that traveling through the Catskills. Gives you that feeling of. You know, this is cool. This is this is a diner, and people coming from Long Island and, and New York City, when they see it, they go, "That's an, a real diner." And your diner has history on Long Island, right? Yeah, I, uh, I I've been re I, mean, I knew the the diner has been here since the early '80s, um, so I've only owned it, um, you know, in, in its later life. But but prior to that, uh, it was uh, built in 1962. Uh, and was in Long Island, somewhere around Roosevelt Field, uh, from the early '60s to the early '80s, and then it was um, it was in some sort of weird controversy. I'm not I'm not sure I, I have the whole story correct yet, but um, it was it was um, on a corner where they wanted to expand, so the 
So by eminent domain, they shut the diner down. It, it, it comes apart, um, which, which is a, a feature of, some, of a lot of diners, uh, especially from that era. And uh, so it, it was uh, sold and moved up to this site in the early age. So it's got a lot of history. And, and, um, and I, I, there's uh, so many things about this place that I'm connected to. But one is it's, it was built in 62. I have an Airstream out uh, in the back that we use as a food truck that was also um, uh, built in 1962. And that's when I was, I was built. I was born in 1962. So that's like great. all these things. I try to keep all these things um, together. They well, all here's belong. A very, here's a very important question. Sure. Does the uh, Greek community know that you own the diner? Yeah, that's a very, good, very good. So, um, in fact, I just spoke to the previous owner today, earlier today, because I was trying to get a little bit of history uh, out on Long Island, and um, he uh, he was still doing. He still had his notes, but he didn't have them in front of him. But he's a, a Greek uh, immigrant, so. You know, talk about a fish out of water up here. I mean, he was here for for that amount of time, and then I came in um, as an Italian American, and 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 boy, and he and that was one of the first questions he asked me uh, after we started to talk about maybe doing. He was literally the first question he asked me. So my my response is that um, my my wife has some um, uh, Greek heritage, so that that. That bloomed into a good conversation. It, it, it worked. Um, so my kids have a little bit, and uh, and I think um, there's some a lot of similarities to uh, uh, Italy and, and Greece as well. So I think I think we're in good we're in good form. We're, we're good. good standing there. Why aren't you safe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Mike, let's talk a little bit about the food. Now you said your mom was a big influence on there, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I write that in the book too. Like uh, when when we were very young, my dad passed away early on. Uh, we were just kids, and and my mom, who who had wasn't even working at the time, she she was a um, uh, uh, a house mom, mm -hmm. uh, had to get a job, so we didn't have a lot of money. And 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 inevitably, in thanking these friends and family that surrounded us at the time of, of my dad's death. Um, she would repay them, you know, in kind, sometimes with, with, with holiday cookies or baking or, or food, she'd bring over some food. And I thought, you know, it's kind of stuck with me. And I think in general, um, it's a little bit of an expression of, of love for sure on feeding people. And I think, uh, you know, I kind of bring that, um, mentality here and she's, you know, been, you know, uh, like kind of deep, um, uh, uh Parts of her are in this place. Right. Um, so, so, you know, your, your mom is a big influence, not only on you, but your, your brother and your sister. Uh -huh. and, and for those of you who watch the show regularly, a, a current guest or a, re, a recurring guest, I should recurring, say. Recurring guest, yeah. Recurring guest. Recurring guest. Would you say like recurring character? Yeah, a recurring character, character on the show. <laughs> Right. And when when Mike and I were first talking about him coming on, Mike was very adamant about not having him come on. <laughs> right. And is I there a particular reason? I get, a, I get a phone call from his mom saying you have to let John on if you're going to if you're going to have Mike on. So uh, I just <laughs> and we, we already told John if he's if he doesn't behave, we're going to knock him off. So, Mike. John, welcome to the show. <laughs> so this is Mike's little brother. All right. <laughs> I like to be referred to as the eye candy of the family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, so John, John is, you know, as we know, a big food advocate. So, uh, you know, now we know why you had a quintuple bypass. Because when you got cookies exactly. like this all the time, exactly. you know. It's not a normal cookie. I mean, am I am I allowed to talk about the quintuple bypass, or is that reserved for another show that you go on? Too on? late. That should be a <laughs> totally its own show. Right. Yeah. Totally its own show. But, so, so, John, let me let me ask you this. You know, and I I know you adore your brother, and and you know you you always you always put it on Facebook how much you love your brother. So shut right. up. Yeah. yeah right. Sure. Okay. So <laughs> let me let me ask you when when he decided he was going to do this what were your thoughts other than you're going to get a whole bunch of free food 
It's a hell of a hike to get some free food. I got. Yeah, I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever asked them this question. It's gonna. I, I'm curious, actually. Um. Well, I I think you knew that that we all it, the <laughs> the main part of the family thought you were absolutely nuts. Right. That we were shocked because he really didn't have the only experience he had really cooking on that level was he worked at a pizzeria during high school. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, he can't even boil an egg. What's he going to do? Like if the, you know, the chef doesn't show up or something, he can't just jump in. But I, I got to tell you, my brother has always come through. He always made something out of nothing. And uh, I think after a while, we're like he'll, he'll do it. He'll he'll do it. I mean, he's got the financial backing from his wife, um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, I guess that's no, a fair. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, he had to step in as the dad uh, very early in life, mm -hmm. and um, we love him for that. And I'm glad that he uh, made something out of nothing. He and, really did. And and you you had your doubts when he first did this because you and I had this. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, Mike, him and I had this conversation when you first went through all of it. You know, it, 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 you know in general, it didn't make a lot of sense. But I, I, I will say, like, you know, you've shown those photos before. And one of the things that struck me about this place was the, was the first thing about it was mm -hmm. that um, it, its location. Um, and I knew like the couple of things that I always can be, come away with from, from eating out prior, as a, as a, as a civilian at the time was, mm -hmm. you know, the location and the, um, certainly the food and also the, the level of, of service. And I think the, the two things I knew we coming out of the box would be good would, would be those two things, the level of service and the location and the food. I, I knew the. I think part of a blessing is the fact that I knew I wasn't going to cook, so I knew I had to bring in somebody who knew what they were doing. Because if I had the hubris of somebody else who was like, you know, like, oh, I can, I can figure that part out. I don't. I again, I, I don't think it would. You know, that's not a successful track for me. Like, I, I, I you got to know what you don't know, and that was absolutely one of the things I did not know. No. My so question, for you. question for you. Question for you. Yeah. You grew up in New Jersey. No, I grew up in Brooklyn. You grew up in Brooklyn, even worse. Yeah. Even worse. But, you're, you're living in Oshkosh, wherever. <laughs> How did you get acclimated to the area? How yeah, long did it take for it? To, did, did you stay there for a month or so beforehand? That's a really good question. You were living? No, great, great question. So, so I grew up and still live in Brooklyn. <laughs> By the way, so so I don't I'm not here. I don't live here full time, but I have we have a we have a place, a weekend place that we've had for for we've been coming up into this area for 30 years. So so basically the arrangement right now is like we we I spent a lot of time up here getting on the construction side, getting it prepared. And then uh, and then the first year or two I was here, you know, basically on a uh, an effect on a daily basis uh, from from opening to close and then uh, and then over time developing a good a good staff and and um and managers that that now run this place better than i ever could and, and i say that with all sincerity like at this point in the game i could not step back in here and run this place because it's, it's grown exponentially past anything that i had had thought it would be and anything that I that I could could manage. So I have a I have a manager named Courtney who's who's fantastic, our, our, a chef named Alex who's who's great, and, and the staff here, the back and the front, um, have been here with me from almost day one. So they're they're they they know exactly what they're doing. So this place can run on its own. How much kitchen help do you have? There's a on a on a busy weekend. There's probably about fifteen people in the in, you know, between the. It's crazy because you know the things that you don't realize when you when you're a novice to this is that one is you don't realize how difficult eggs are, and that's a primary primary um, dish here. It's in everything, especially and breakfast. For breakfast for breakfast, but breakfast for lunch and breakfast for dinner is now a, a has been a trending thing for for years. Right. But but it but we've seen it firsthand. So um, 
it's not an easy thing. You can't, you know, they're not really, you prep them, but you can't really prep them. They're all, almost everything here is cooked in the minute. Um, so uh, there needs to be a lot of people here to kind of execute. Well, and freeze and like right Darren now. We're, busy. we're gonna continue this after sure. we take a short break. And then we want to discuss food. Okay. And not the family and all that stuff, that's great. <laughs> Now we want to discuss the food and the book and telling people how to get to you. And this, we'll also discuss no if Darren has ever flown up to your restaurant. Oh, that's a for really a meal. good question. I like that. That. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. to be real close Said he couldn't go on the American way Close the shop sold the house for the ticket to the West Coast Small business owners Are you having trouble growing your business? Do you feel like you're always swimming upstream? Do you feel like daily tension that I can't get ahead and I don't know why. Hi everybody, my name is Darren Sayafi and I'm a business therapist. What's a business therapist? Well, some people call us coaches, some people call us advisors, other people even call us strategists. We take a vested interest in you and your personal development as a person and as a business owner to give you the tools and structure that you need to take it to that next level. So don't wait. Give me a call today for your free consultation and let me show you how you can help yourself. Okay, welcome back to the Business Power Hour with uh, Darren, Mike, Frank, Joe, Marie, <laughs> uh, uh, whoever else is on. Yeah, we're bringing them all in. Hey, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my kids have. <laughs> I, want to, I want to give a couple of quick shout outs. Uh, Brian Cohen's watching. Brian, we love you, man. And I need to talk to you. Okay, and, and Norm needs to talk to you. <laughs> Courtney, I hope I say this right, Courtney. Mal Satsky, you guys know her? Very good. Okay. Oh, yeah. I said it good? Wow. All right. Andrea yeah. Kappa, Gina. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, Gil, Gil Lardy. All right. Gilardi. And, uh, Gilardi and Mark Berlin. Hey, Mark, my how you doing, buddy? Well, Dad, well, well, Gina's you know. a cousin. Oh, Gina's a cousin? She's hey, a cousin. <laughs> That's right. Gina, well, say like, hello to your uh -oh. cousin, Darren. We lost We lost we Mike. Lost Mike. We're gonna have to fill it for Mike that he dropped off. He must have, you know, he got so excited Gina was on that, you know, he fell off. I think he fell off his stool. <laughs> he's gone. He's he's out. A of little very short. Maybe he fell off a little. Can no, we'll, we'll play. We'll play that video again. Watching me make these things. I can't stop eating these things, man. Here he is, Mike. What happened, Mike? <laughs> you fell. Yeah, I think he's, he's frozen. I, he's frozen. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's what I told you. He's in the middle of nowhere, man. I mean, he's literally. In I know. Like I'm, I'm worried right now. You're right. Your comment about the cell service, there is none. Literally there is, none. Yeah, there is. Speaking about cell service, before the show, I had yeah. asked you a question if you did all your baking. Yeah. And you said yes. And you were starting to give me examples. And one of the examples you gave was breads. Now, yeah. being a city boy, and going to diners here, you know, there are breads that come in packages, you know, they're industrial size, all different kinds. And you said, uh-uh, we make everything here. Tell everybody the type of breads that you make for, for your meals. Yeah, it's basically, um, you know, whole wheat, sourdough, uh, rye. Uh, uh, we make a brioche um, uh, for our French toast. Um, and uh it, it's like i said it's a it's a bread factory here um early in the morning especially on the weekends um so we have a, a prep kitchen in the in the basement and below us and also um uh, so that so that work happens down below while these guys are are uh cranking out uh food up up top here 
Do you sell any of these breads to uh, any restaurants? Yeah, no, no, we do it all. It's all here. Um, and the only thing I mean, that, do, you that we, it, do you sell it to them? In other no. words, you, you basically can create a new business in making breads yeah. for no, that's a great that's a great question, a great idea. But no, I think you know, in general, Darren wants to invest. I, I got no, the, you know, um. We have such a good crew here and it's taken so long to kind of not so long but but a long time to kind of develop it it's really hard to kind of develop a new faction of it uh especially up here i mean it, it you know it's not a densely populated populated area so like if a dishwasher um you know uh leaves and and uh to replace that person is 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 difficult it's not um it's not uh, the city where, you know, there might be four or five, like just around the corner. That's not, not, does not ha happen here. Yeah. It's, it's rare. So Mike, tell me about this. What is on this massive looking bird? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and that's on a that, bill. <laughs> <laughs> that's got a, like uh, basically everything on it. Um, and, you know, and some of the times, you know, we'll, we'll get to, uh, do stuff like that, um, you know, in, in, in its massive form, like, like it's that, um, sometimes you'll get, um, uh, that, that's the, that's the Phoenicia smash burger, but there's also, uh, like a Turkey club. Like if you guys, um, ever been in a diner anytime ever, you know, Turkey clubs, you should not be able to get your mouth around it on the first bite. Right. And that's exactly how we treat it here. It's just massive. Um, I could, and uh, so, the, so those, like we, you know, a lot of it, you know, the thing about like, like any of that stuff is the, the meat comes, you know, locally, um, and uh, you know, so our proteins we try to get, you know, as locally sourced as possible. Um, our, you know, the we can't, you know, we're not, we're not um, so tied to it. Like I, I won't serve you a tomato in January because there's no tomatoes here in January. So we, you know, some of the stuff we have to, you have to bring in. Yeah, but, but for the but most when part, the season, right. Well, you want, you want to keep, you, you pretty much, and we had this conversation, Yeah, you know, the people that work there are local, right? The, the sourcing right. that you do for the most part, unless you can't get something during a season is local, right? Correct. So, right. You, you know, and even, and even the repairs that go on, and we talked about a glass repair that you had not too long ago, it just so right. happened turned out to be married to my cousin April. Another cousin, right? Another another cousin. Cousin. <laughs> you can't get rid of us, Norm. We're all old. Tree with a lot of branches. <laughs> We're like cockroaches. <laughs> did, did, did Darren's brother do your electrical work? <laughs> <laughs> Probably somewhere in Long Island, I bet he touched yeah. this place. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> but see, I'm, I'm I can't stop eating the cookie. I know. I know. I get, I get, uh, um, so, Matt, you talked know. about making the breads and everything like that. Yeah. And this, these, you know, and we'll, we'll let's talk about the book and let's talk about some of these things. You know, and I'm going to go right back to my favorite part of the book, which is the the, the desserts. Chocolate right. peanut butter pie. Chocolate peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, right. Look at this, right? Yeah, I mean, all that stuff. Again, you know, we make here, and you know, the interesting thing about a cookbook is, you know, you got to take these things and scale them back down to a to a human, like you know, <laughs> level, like a like a home kitchen. So, so a lot of these things, you know, uh, took a lot of time to kind of, um, well, you uh, know, test out and stuff like that too. So it's not easy. The cookbook part's not just you know, hey, we got this recipe and we're going to throw it in the book. We have to scale it down, um, you know, find uh, similar sometimes ingredients that you wouldn't normal that you might not be able to get, you know, all over the country. Right. So uh, it's a, it's an it's an endeavor that was about a year's worth of work from start so to finish. It's not tell me point. about the recipes. Are these recipes that you do at the diner or is this mm -hmm. stuff that you had, you know, your mom had in a, a cookbook somewhere that you pulled out? Yeah. All, all those have appeared at the diner. Some of them, a lot of them have come on, come and go as, as specials. Uh, certainly like the pancakes are, at, you know, those are the ones that are here at the diner. So, I think Norman asked me a, a, a while back uh, earlier uh, about like favorites for, for guests. 
And I would say, you know, like pancakes seem to rise up above things, uh, above all else. A lot of, ju and just simple, like bacon and egg sandwich, uh, uh, re um, dishes, uh, always kind of come to mind, uh, or, or, or hover at the top of the sales list. And then, and then some of my, one of my favorites is the, is the, um, Arnold Bennett skillet, which is in the, in the, um, in the cookbook. And that I, I think is kind of a defining, one of the defining recipes and, and dishes for this, for this diner. It's, it's. It's egg based, but it's um, it's it's uh, actually has a history of uh, it's a no he's uh, Arnold Bennett's a, a novelist back at the turn of the century who who had this a similar dish made for him at a hotel that he he lived at. You sure uh, you don't mean Benedict? Hotel. Arnold no, Benedict? No, I know, I know, no, no, I don't. I don't he was don't. a traitor. Yeah, we but know. I, he I know, and, and I have that, like I know the story because I've said it a bunch of times to people who are not in the know. Right. Um, so, uh, so but that's my, like a defining, a defining dish. What's what's the best way for people to get the book? Right. So uh, we we sell it here at the diner. So uh, you can go online and 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 uh, and order it from the diner. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, you can order it at Barnes and Noble. It's all over the place. Um, uh, we like we, you know we have we we the ones that are signed come from the diner. So I, I sit here uh you know once a week and uh and sign books um part of my my new job title as an author you, you notice norm autograph oh boy that you know why it's not fine man oh it's you know not. why because i had to go on amazon and buy it exactly <laughs> you didn't go you got to go through your cousin that's you true that's true like i didn't, go through I, didn't reach out. I was very uh, impatient yeah. like no, I, I and i went right online and i, I bought understand i could have got you one darren because i know a guy <laughs> exactly. Exactly. mike i don't have a book all but, right you want my address norm just speak to john he'll get you one yeah, john, we'll get you that. <laughs> I'll, I'll photocopy it now you know, you know, not exactly. only that, you guys, you guys sell a whole bunch of Phoenicia Dinah swag, oh right? Oh my god, yeah, like the the swag out of this place sometimes is is mind boggling. It's um, a lot of people like to leave with a little something, so it's a mug or or a t shirt, um, or a tote bag. Um, and we have a we have an online store too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But you know, it, it's it's like, those no. things that you um, and I think Darren, you know, like uh, and Norm. One of the one of the things that I because I'm not stuck in the kitchen all day every day. These, you know, like I'm I'm out here kind of developing the next thing. So like I didn't I I had time to think about what a t-shirt would look like and how to sell it online and all those things that you. You know, if you're in the moment and you're, you're you're in the kitchen, like a lot of a lot of other people that are kind of doing that, you're not thinking about growth down the line. And I think from my old business, I learned that pretty early on that that um, if I was doing if I was in the shop building something, I wasn't on the phone trying to get the next job or dealing with an accounting issue or trying to find a loan. So I I kind of brought a lot of that experience, the old experience, to the to the diner. So. It's a different business for sure, but it's not necessarily run in a different way. Like I, I always equate the kitchen to a manufacturing process. Things need to be next to each other in certain ways to knock seconds off of timing, which right. grows into hours and days over the course of, of a year. So and, and that and that's um, a big I, I kind of <laughs> right. And that's that's very important for every business yeah. owner. Anybody watching this exactly you, know, you run a business, it's all about efficiencies. Yeah and systems Correct. making them you know and that's a big part of, that's why i have a job because people are so bad at it you know? again yeah, let, I, I, let me yeah, throw it yeah, out sure. there the phone number to call us if you want to talk to mike or john from hazlitt 631-619-7500 631-619-7500 and mike a question for you breakfast lunch and dinner what is the right. premier best known breakfast you serve lunch you serve and dinner that you serve what's the most popular dishes in each category all right um all right that's a good uh, i knew you got, you told oh, me you're gonna throw this out I'm, 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 monster. um breakfast for I the most it. part is, is some sort of a, uh, egg omelet you know combination uh i would say lunch that turkey club 
almost always. And then dinner, you, you kind of move into the platter. So, so um, we always have like a blue plate special that, that kind of comes out that's that, uh, special for the day that, that sells pretty well. And then we do like a, like a trout, which is um, a grown uh, farmed here locally. We can't pull it out of the river across the street because that's not uh, health department standards. But uh, <laughs> so there's a pan fried, pan fried trout. Or so um, you say. Shh. <laughs> Uh, that's in the early morning. That's where you can find me fly fishing up there for, for dinner. Um, so yeah, so, um, you know, it, it, it's interesting. The, uh, um, a lot of the dishes that, that tend to rise up are one's classic diner dishes that we've just up the ingredients to a level where they, they just taste, I hope better than you would be able to do it at home. That's that's basic, you know. That's that's our that's our hope, and with ingredients that are just, you know, well, um, I, fresh. I, I can tell I can tell you from my experience with making the cookies, you really dumbed it down enough, and I literally say dumbed it down because I'm the one doing it, uh, where it made it easy for me to do it. It really right. did, you know. That the instructions are very simple. You know, and it look the the book has an array. It goes breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and dessert, and even right. has beverages in here. Uh, you know, it's all good stuff. You know, and and it's, you know, Darren. One, one thing I wanted to point out: what he likes. What was I that? Wanted to. <laughs> what was that, John? I said I'm surprised you didn't ask the fat guy what he likes at the diner. Well, uh, we know you like pretty much anything. <laughs> no, anything with fat in it. Well, well, <laughs> one thing about the one thing about that cookbook, which was important to us or me, was was uh, you'll see uh, little interludes along the way about the area and some of the history of the area because we want to promote that in general. What's the big dessert at the diner? Uh, usually, those those cookies. Got they it. usually fly. Oh yeah, so the cookies are the big, the big. Yeah, they, they usually fly, and then and then we'll have uh, every once in a while we'll put a a cream pie, like a Boston cream pie or a meringue, and those things go like gangbusters. Um, there's a diner, there's a diner that I go to, that uh, I'm very fussy on French toast, big time fussy. Mm -hmm. It's got to be made a certain way. I, I want real right. eggs. I don't want the solution that they dump it in, whatever. Right. But they make raisin bread, French oh. toast. So there's another little hint for you. Tell your chef to stick some raisins in a bread and use that for raisin bread, French toast. Special I'll, of the day. Uh, okay, I'll. I'll do, <laughs> thank, thank, thank you for the advice. The music band special. I'm, of the day. Say, I'm, I'm trying to think <laughs> of what no. I like uh, French in, toast. in uh, music that I can suggest too. Let me. Let me <laughs> <see>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I uh, I appreciate that. We and like I said, we, we're open for suggestions sometimes, and then and then you know. Well, let me, I'm let, me like, ask you this. Yeah. let me ask you this, Mike. We know that your brother is a food connoisseur, uh -huh. right? You know, he loves all the fast foods. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> As we no, know, that's just that's a fact, correct. right? But John, let me have have you ever given your brother a suggestion that he actually listened to? Absolutely not. <laughs> He'll sit there <laughs> yeah, and yes no. you to death. He'll be like, Yeah, that sounds great. That's awesome. Like, you know, good suggestion, Norm. Yeah, uh, like yeah raisins. <laughs> and then all this never <laughs> just never happened. <laughs> And I, it's a gift I have. I, uh, I make you feel like I'm listening. Correct. I'm, I'm so, John, what, yeah. what's your favorite meal at the diner? Breakfast, pancakes, lunch, uh, chicken and waffles, and dinner. I love the Mexican tortilla soup. I could have that all night. That's got a lot of corn in it, doesn't it? Mm, yeah, if you <laughs> corn in it. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> Mike, you know why I said that, Mike. <laughs> uh, I'm teasing. And no. I, uh, one other thing on the uh, I, uh, before I forget on the dessert side, yeah, the granddaddy of them all is a bourbon milkshake. Oh, Ooh, that's good too. I, 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 yeah. I have to tell you, it is like it's. It, I don't know. It's like drink. I don't know how to say it right. 
I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up. But it's it's almost perfect. It's got the alcohol mm. just enough. It's got it's got you know it's a vanilla uh, uh, ice cream and it I don't know why it's it it can't be any better than that. That it's you know what really that sounds great. like a great breakfast drink. Is that yeah, in the book? Exactly. <laughs> and lunch <laughs> and dinner. <laughs> Three in the morning. Yes. Yeah, I think the butter milkshake is in here. Is it the Phoenicia yeah. Dino milkshake? Is yeah. There? Yes. Six ounces. Yeah. Use, right. They use Ronnie Brook. As their bourbon. I want to, and also, uh, yeah, and I just, before, again, before I forget about the book sale, we also, like, locally support a lot of independent booksellers. So, like, uh, you know, a lot of times if you're if you're looking for the book, um, it's kind of nice to walk to the corner and get and get get the book rather than a big box seller. So, uh, just mm -hmm. FYI, just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> All right, so, that, you know what? Look, Mike, we know you do a lot of great things for the community. You actually, you know, you do a lot of great things for your little brother. We know that. <laughs> right? you keep him out of trouble as much as you can. We know he tends to get himself in a lot of trouble. But, yeah. you know, you do the best you can, Mike. That's all I got to say. I, is you do the best I, you I, can. I, I always, I, I always, it's, uh, I, 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 I'm in it all the time with him trying to help him out. All right, <laughs> Mike, so just remember in 10 years, look at Darren. That's what you're going to look like. Oh. What do you mean in 10 years? What are you talking about? Oh, sorry. He's older than I am. <laughs> That's why I love him. So, guys, exactly. if you're heading up the New York State Thruway or down the New York State Thruway and you get to exit 19, get off and head west on, on New York 28. And it's what? It, what how, how far do you take? About a half an hour, Mike, off off uh, the throughway? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, Twenty eight uh, minutes and thirty seconds. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Mike. What's the big the big city around you? Kingston. So okay. uh, you would get That's off at the Kingston it? exit on 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 on, uh, on the throughway, which is uh, the throughway is eighty seven. The Kingston exit is ex exit nineteen. And you just head west for 28 minutes and 30 seconds. And so you, you arrive. And the thing is, the location is a great location. It's, you know what? I would equate it to a great location for even a movie set. Well, funny you should say that. We <laughs> just reopened today, uh, or tomorrow actually, uh, from a from shooting a movie. Uh, there was a movie shot here um, over the week. Uh, 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 Apple Apple TV. Uh, and it's helmed or directed by Ben Stiller called Severance. Uh, I don't know any more of the details other than that. That's the name of the movie. And we'll, well, I guess we'll see it in a couple, of, we know, uh, a couple of months. Do we know who any of the stars are? Yeah. Uh, Christopher Walken, I believe. is. I'm not sure they were in the scene here because I, COVID protocols, like everybody, anybody who wasn't supposed to be here was not. Right. Uh, so we had we had one staff member kind of making sure that nothing got messed up, but it wasn't me. Um, so Christopher Walken's in it. A guy named Adam Scott, who I think was on Parks and Rec, um, and uh, uh, Patricia Arquette, I believe, is in it. Huh, nice. uh, so it's got some. And there was, I, uh, it was, it was a, it was a, uh, a pretty major production. So uh, there was a lot of buzz in town about how many film trucks were here and and the actors and all that stuff so it was a pretty, so big, pretty big deal you, you could s literally be sitting on a stool that patricia arquette was just sitting on correct yeah or christopher walken or adam scott that, or that, that is that is true and you know ironically when i i did i did sneak in here one night to make sure nothing was messed up and there were you know scenery like things that i would have built in my previous life in here you know, with the name of the diner on the, on, you know, in the back, uh, you know, stamped on the back. And I'm like, it's just a weird meta thing. Like, uh, you know, it's what I used to do. And now my, right. my, my new what place is on the back of this flat. What name did so they put on your diner? Did they leave it for Oh, Nisha? it was called Pips. No, Pips Bar and Grill, which I kind of like the name. Grill. There you go. I, I kind of, I kind of like it. Although, like I said, uh, uh, I, I'm very happy with Phoenicia diner that, that the, the uh, it, it it it's indicative of the town, so uh, I, I'm I'm happy with the with the name of the place. By the way, the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike and John, it's coming to the end of the show. The hour is almost up already. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. 
one more time. Tell people how they can get touch with you, how they can get your book, you know, how they can get the swag. John, not you. Not you. We're talking you know? about Mike. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, for the book and swag, you can come to the, the diner website, uh, PhoeniciaDiner.com, and, uh, and go to the store there and order whatever you would like. Uh, the book is also available at independent booksellers and at Amazon um, and Barnes and Noble. Um, and, um, and you can always come here. We're not, we don't have the diner open at the moment for, because due to COVID, we have the outdoor space that's open and heated. Um, so you can come here, sit outside and stare at that beautiful mountain. Um, and then hopefully, you know, in the summer at some point when, when we're allowed to, and things loosen up a little bit, we'll, uh, we'll start to invite people back inside because the interior of this place is, is, is the other star. It's, uh, it's just an un, unvarnished view of 1962. Well, and, and that's, I, uh, that's and really what it, like when you go in there, it looks like an old fashioned that's diner. Exactly. It doesn't look like it, it is. It is. Like it not, really is. It's not, a, it's not fake. Uh, you know, and that's the thing that I wanted to be really clear about. I, I, I never wanted to kitch it up. It's, it is what it was. Right. Exactly. Do you make your own ice cream too? Uh, no. We Do you make gelato? We get it. We get it from Ronnie Brook. Gelato in a diner? No. Blasphemy, Blasphemy, Norm. Blasphemy. <laughs> I don't, I don't make don't, lockers don't either. Actually, there's no, there's no espresso machine in the, in, inside the diner. Right. Why? Because you in 1962 you wouldn't hear that 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 noise in the background. You hear drip drip coffee. That's Always. it. All right. Well, guys, thanks for being on. Hang out in the green room. We'll be with you guys in a couple of minutes. But yeah. great job tonight again. Thank you. Go out and get the Phoenicia diner. <laughs> All right. You can Phoenicia. get it on Amazon. Phoenicia. Phoenicia. You can get it on Amazon. Like I said, it's spelled right. So <laughs> you can get it on Amazon. You can get it right off of their website. You know, just just and and if you're in upstate New York, stop by and say hi to Mike. You know, Absolutely. but he's not there. No, he's there. He's there. Well, he wasn't there the day I stopped because he left. He was there, but he left. So I didn't get to see him. I should have called him and said, hey, I'm coming on, on, on but the, I didn't. Uh, I have a camera at the exit. I know he's coming. Yeah, so that's, that's why he left, because he knew I was coming. He knew you were there. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for being on. We appreciate it. Good night. Thank you. All right. Another great show. Great. Let's talk about your, your backdrop. Right. You, you, you love this, right? Look at this. So... Yeah, so you know, give we, a plug. We were talking. Yeah, I'm gonna. We were talking about how plain it was, right? You and I were talking about how plain it was. It was just to control your business, right? And Samantha, who your Samantha, my Samantha, who oh. uh, you know is is an art. She's an art artist type. Came to me with this idea for a backdrop, and I said, "Do it." So she, the last two days, two and a half days, she spent doing this wall. It's all hand painted. Well, tell everybody what it means. Then they may not know that it has something to do with what you do. Well, to control your business before it controls you, it goes, it goes back to what Mike was talking about, is making sure you have all the right systems in place. Everybody everybody is aware of what those systems are, and they're implemented properly. It's but a big that's part of what CBMS. We do. That's CBMS Consulting Services. So so I just have to lead them on, and then thank, he picks thank up Thank you, Norm. On. I appreciate that. There you go. Uh, but, you know, and... It's 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 a wonderful. I mean, this is just it, mind blowing that she actually hand painted all these lines and all this I can't other believe stuff. And they, they, they're, they're excellent, wild. right? It's like crazy. It's crazy. I'm trying to find the fault with it, and I can't. You can't. But, it's and she spent a lot of time. Is it doing washable? It. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great job. Yeah. No, she did a fantastic job. She absolutely did a fantastic job. So, what do you got coming up, Norm? Uh, nothing. You mean nothing. You got the Billy Joel concert coming up in a couple oh, of weeks. Oh, that's just April 10th. Oh, we have so many shows coming up, though. April 10th, we have Billy Joel. Then May 1st, we have Marshall Tucker and ZZ Top for American Legion. The 15th, we're doing a show for Leukemia Woman of the Year. The 22nd, we're doing the Kiwanis International. And I'm out of breath. Then there you go. 
So it's, it's That's all up good. To June. Yeah, so, it's hey, fun. just to let everybody know, today is March 17th. The IRS came out today and said, hey, we're pushing the individual deadline for tax returns from April 15th to May 17th. So you get an extra month and two days to file your uh, tax return and actually make your tax payments if you do have them. So, Did you uh, get a stimulus check? I, I don't qualify for a stimulus check. So, uh, you know, but no, I Today didn't. was stimulus check day I, for everybody. I heard. Did you get yours? I did. Excellent. Excellent. So it's all good. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. We will see you next week. We'll have, uh, I forgot who we have next. Oh, yeah, we have Jerry the Geek. Jerry the Geek I is I believe it's be Jerry the Geek. All and right. we're not being rude. That is really his name. Well, it's his business tune, name. Tune in and find out why. Right. Next Wednesday, 7 p.m. We'll see you guys then. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.